Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. And today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can secure API using AWS IAM or Identity and Access Management. Okay. So already in my previous video, I have discussed in detail about the securing API using API key. And this is another technique using which you can basically secure your APIs. Okay. So the architecture what I am going to demonstrate or build from scratch is kind of like this. Here we'll be making our request using Postman and that request will hit our AWS API gateway and then first it will make authorization based on IAM and if that is authorized then only it will invoke the Lambda otherwise not. Lambda is basically our backend server which is used for processing the request. Okay, Once the request is processed it will send the response to AWS API Gateway and API Gateway will send back the response to Postman. Okay, right? So without any further delay, let's build our pipeline. So I'll go to Lambda, right? And here I will go to create function. Here I will give demo testing API IAM like this some name I am giving. Environment I am choosing Python 3.7. Depending on your requirement, you can choose any other environment or other programming language too. Once that is done, you can simply go to create function. Okay. It will create a Lambda function with Python 3.7 execution environment for us. Right. So let us wait for some time till it complete. Yeah. The environment is built. Now all we need to do, suppose I want to change the code little bit. Maybe I want to create a message. Okay. Message equal to right here. I can write I love my and then here I can give format and then the event whatever it is uh, coming from API gateway there we want to pass one particular key value pair where key is query okay so suppose in that query we will be passing or maybe I can give like this a country okay so in country we will be passing basically one value and it will return I love my country like that okay right simple code return message I can simply write okay and we are good to deploy this right it is deployed it's time to test so first let us go to test section and here i am giving country okay so country when i am giving and in the value part let me give india and then let me test it out let's see okay we got some error syntax error lambda function unexpected in that okay indentation issue let me verify once Right here, indentation problem is there. Let me give a tab separation. Let me deploy this now. And if I go to test and test it again, execution successful. I love my India, it is returning perfect. All right, our lambda is done. All we need to do now, we need to create the API. For that, we'll be basically going to our API gateway. And here, we will basically create an API. Okay, I will go to building a REST API. I will click on build. Right, all these things I have already discussed, so I am moving a little bit faster. And here, yeah, demo IAM like this, some name I am giving. So this will be regional. Okay, then create API. Right, once that is created, here first I need to create resource, and in resource I can give hello world like this I am giving. Right, and then here I can go to create resource okay right under the resource I can create the method so suppose post method I want to create and I can just click on this check mark it is asking what you want to trigger so I want to trigger lambda what is the lambda function the lambda function is basically this one I'll be copying that and paste it here and I will click on save so basically as soon as uh, you click on save, you will be getting this kind of message that is your, you are about to give API gateway permission to invoke your Lambda. That is true. We will click on OK. Right. And here our method will be created. We can test it out. Just click on test. And here you can pass country. Just what we passed in our Lambda. The same thing. OK. Right. And then let's test it out. See. I love my India in the response but it is coming. Perfect. All we need to do, go to here and here deploy API. Deployment stage. So I am creating one new stage, maybe development environment. If you want, you can create for QA or production, whatever. And then click on deploy simply. Right. Here we are getting info URL. Okay. 
I will copy this info keyword L. I will go to postman. I will change this method to post method. I will paste it here. Along with that, we need to paste the resource path also, which is hello world, right? And then here in the body part, we can basically give raw and then here JSON we can pass country India, right? Let us send this request and let's see what output we are getting here. See, I love my India. We are perfectly getting. But the problem is anyone who know this URL, they can basically make the request and process the data. So this is kind of hello world example, which is having no problem, no security credential, something we are storing in the back end, which is basically processing and giving to front end, right? But maybe in some application, some confidential data we might return. Maybe for example, your bank details or your address. That time, these particular links should be secured and only a specific users should have access to this, not whole world should have access, right? So now we will make it secure using IAM. All we need to do, go to AWS, open in a new tab, go to IAM, and then here we will be basically creating one user, right? All we need to do, go to users, and here add users. I will basically add user, okay? Maybe I can give SM demo IAM, like this, some name I am giving right now what kind of access we want to give so we want to give programmatic access that is access key and secret key right so i will choose this one not the management console access okay i will go to next permission then here what the user need just the user need that invoke permission api invoke permission so for that we will go to here attach an existing policy here all we need to do search for api and here you will get this particular one Amazon API get to info full access. So I am giving this next go to tags. I'm not specifying any tags. If you want, you can. Now I can go to review and I can click on create user. Right here, my user is created. Right here, if I go to show here, it is clearly showing secret access key and AWS key. I will come to this, but we have not attached this particular user with our AWS API gateway authentication. Right. So for that, I will go to API Gateway and here, if I go to APIs, here, this is my API which I created just now and on post method, if I go, it is having this complete figure, I will go to method request and here, this particular authorization, instead of none, I will make AWS IAM. That is, from next time onwards, it will be verified using AWS IAM, then only it will give access to that user, okay? I will check this particular one and whenever you are making some changes, you need to deploy that, right? So I will deploy in my development environment stage, right? It is deployed, same URL, all we can do, maybe I will hit this particular thing again and now it is working, maybe one more time I need to hit. Okay, right, it is working. So whether it is deployed or not, WJ, WJ, okay, fine. It is deployed. Let me confirm. I'll go to post method. Let me just confirm method request authorization is AWS IAM. Yes, it is there, right? So here it might take some time, few minutes to update the particular role. Maybe you need to wait some time. See, now if I am making another request, it is giving message missing authentication take token. So like earlier, it will not work, okay? If I just keep on doing, same error will be getting. So this time, if one user want to access that, he should be having this particular access key and secret key, okay? Let me show you using that how I can access. I will go to Postman and here, I'll be basically going to authorization and here, what kind of authorization we are going to use? That is AWS signature, right? So I am role, access key and secret key. So here some access key and secret key already present. I will delete those things and I'll be using this new access key and secret access key. Okay, I will copy this particular one and here in access key section, I'll be pasting that and here I'll be copying this particular secret key, right? And here I will be pasting that also. Okay, right? Now if I make a send request, I'll be clearly getting back the response. I love my India. But suppose I don't have the access key, I'm not, I don't know. Then if I make send request, 
the security token is invalid. That is, this particular IAM will not allow to proceed with further backend processing. And this way, using these simple steps, you can basically secure your API using IAM policies and roles and users, all these things. Okay. So I hope this particular pipeline is clear to you. You can add this kind of security in your actual pipeline when you are going live in production system to make your whole system secured. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.